the semen fluid contain melatonin and this is why you sleep so well after sexual intercourse. Well, hello the sweet people, welcome to the Sweet K channel. My name is Katarina and do women really need a beauty sleep? Can you spot a virgin? Can taking contraception change attractiveness? All of these questions I ask and I also ask two more and I research the answers for you and I'm gonna present it to you right now because you should know the answers and you should be interested in those things and you should be watching this video. First of all, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's hop right into it. Do we really need a beauty sleep? Is beauty sleep real? We sometimes use this as an excuse to stay in bed longer or you can hear it many times from a beauty gurus, but is it really real? The Warwick University research team asked the same questions and they actually did the research. They were checking if there are any changes in a women and a men body after having five or less hours of sleeping or five or more hours of sleeping and they found out that the beauty sleep is really real but it's not really about the beauty but it's more about our general health. They actually found out that the women who don't have enough of sleep which means less than eight hours a night but mostly less than five hours a night do actually have much higher risk of developing hypertension which is a high blood pressure men don't have that problem they can sleep less and they don't have any changes in their body other than they are tired and grumpy so disadvantage for women one disadvantage so beauty sleep is real we can call it beauty sleep because it sounds good but it's not really about the beauty but it's more about your health. If you are somebody who doesn't sleep enough you should really make some arrangements and try to sleep more because that can actually make your body feel better and be more healthier. Can you really find out if a woman is a virgin? Well, according to lifescience.com I found out that the one indicator which was used until today and it's still used in some cases called him is it him or him I'm not sure how to pronounce pronounce this thing but we all know what I'm talking about this is a small tissue in a women body which can um, be in a one Part and it can be broken or destroyed or damaged while having first intercourse in the life. It can be even damaged during the life, during doing different exercises. You can even be born with your heim or him damaged and there is no way somebody can actually spot if the woman is a virgin or you can identify it. Sometimes it even stays in a place after having sexual intercourse. So really this is just a guessing game and I'm thinking now poor all those women back in the days which were searched and checked by the doctors and by the gynecologists in order to find out if they are virgins or not. There have been a lot of different bad things done to women population um, through different years and through different times and for me this information was really interesting because I was of that opinion that you can actually identify the women and I had no idea that you cannot. Believe me or not, I studied four years in a school which was very medically and anatomically orientated because I was studying for pharmacy assistant and we had a lot of anatomy and uh, different subjects which we studied about the human body. Never have they ever mentioned this thing to us and I have never heard about it and it is so weird that they don't teach you that at school that I am really ashamed. I hope they do that now. I hope they made it clear for girls that this is um, utterly a bullshit and that nobody can actually tell if you are virgin or not. Well, I can just hope. I'm not sure, but I hope this video will help to spread this information out. 
Are we better listeners than men? This is question if you are in a heterosexual relationship you may have stumbled across and you may have think about and you may have pointed that you are a better listener if you are a woman than your male partner. But is that really true? Well, according to research done by Indiana University School, it well, it might be or it might not be true. They actually took 20 women and 20 men and put them into the MRI, which is a machine which can check your brain or brain fuck functions or they can see what part of brain are you using while doing different things. And they made them listen to different stuff. I don't know what they were reading them. That was probably mentioned in that study, but I don't remember what was it. Anyways, they found out very interesting thing that while men are listening, they are using only left side of a brain, the part of a left side of brain, which name I don't remember because I'm not a neurosurgeon. The women, however, while they're listening, they are using left and right side of a brain, which is very interesting and very important information to know not in order to find out if we are listen better listener or not because uh, from this study we don't know that we might be we might not be who knows but it's good to know for them for neurosurgeons when they are doing a brain uh, surgeries to know that we are actually using both sides for listening which is quite good to know when they are um, using the equipment in your brain and I don't want to think about it because it just makes me cringe and I have a goosebumps from it. Anyways, there is no scientific proof that the women are better listener than a man, unfortunately. So this is very interesting what I want to talk about next and it tightly goes with attractiveness and taking contraception. Is it really true that while you are taking contraception you might be less attractive for a man or you might be attracted to a different man? Well, according to psychology today this is really true because when you are on a contraception and you are under different hormones and your body is behaving differently they really compared it to that your body thinks that you are pregnant because you are not ovulating and this will change the smell of your body and that will attract or not attract different males also you can smell different things <sighs> or different male or female so you might be attracted to them and your behavior is different. According to Newsweek there was um, a scientific proof shown that there was a research about the women who are taking contraception and are not taking contraception. When you are not taking it and you go through ovulation your voice pinch changes. And when you are on contraception, your voice doesn't change because you are not ovulating. So this voice changes in order to be more attractive for the other partner. Let's now talk about the heterosexual relationship. So your voice changes in order to attract your male partner because you want to be impregnated and uh, you want to have a baby while you're ovulating. If you are on a contraception however this is not happening so that means that you are not more attractive for your male than you would be if you were not on contraception which is so very confusing and very interesting information. Also according to this website the high Divorce rates are blamed on a contraceptive pill and other form of contraception because when you meet somebody and you are taking a contraception you are attracted to them, they are attracted to you. Maybe in some part of your relationship or during your life journey you will decide that you no longer want to take a contraception. For example, you want to have a family. And when you will take it off, you find out that you actually are not really attracted to that person or that that person is not really attracted to you, which sounds really scary because it can actually happen to me. I hope it won't. But this is really, really interesting and I couldn't believe it. But this is actually scientifically proof. And they think that that's why we have such a high 
um, divorce rates because of all that hormone stuff and taking a contraception. I don't know what to think about it. I would like to hear some opinions of professionals and if they really think that that's a hundred percent true. I mean, it was scientifically proven, so I would think it is. Um, I don't know. I I am really more inclined to not believe it because I don't want to believe it because I'm scared because I am in relationship and I don't want to be in relationship because of my contraception oh, I don't know what I'm saying anyways I cannot really do much with that can I I can just hope this is not my case number five is something very special which I don't have 100% proof that it is really true because I read that and it made me so excited and I think it's such a good information that I didn't want to know if this is really true or not. And this is about male uh, semen fluid. If you don't want to hear about it, just stop watching this video. But I think we all need to know that. Again, we should be in a heterosexual relationship or in a homosexual relationship where we have two men together because I found out that the actual men's semen fluid can be more beneficial for us than we actually think. According to some researches, but it wasn't really um, backed up by universities, I would think, it, this fluid contains some good hormones as the serotonin and oxytonin, oxytonin and endorphins which um, will make you feel happy and excited and also the most important thing according to this thing which I found somewhere online this fluid contains melatonin if you don't know what melatonin is this is a hormone which your body is producing while you are asleep at night in a dark. It is very important for you because you are producing it but also you need it for a very good restful sleep. So according to this information the semen fluid contains melatonin and this is why you sleep so well after sexual intercourse if you didn't use any barrier which in no case I'm telling you not to use I'm just talking about maybe long-lasting relationships who are together for years and years and they know that they don't have any illnesses and they are not promiscuous and they are not using barrier contraception then in these cases you might sleep much better because of that melatonin and it will make you feel more chilled and more relaxed and you will sleep better which I think in these um, hard times or in this depressing time lockdown we sort of need to know and heard more exciting information <laughs> and this is it from me what I want to tell you today thank you so much for watching thank you for staying with me I'm not done with those videos I will be uploading every week hopefully and um, entertain you with my content to teach you something new show you some new facts or fun stuff and I hope you like it again don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment check out my Instagram do whatever makes you happy stay safe stay home and I will see you very soon bye